So you may have heard of VMware. VMware is one of the largest technology companies in the world. I mean, there are bigger ones, but VMware do a whole heap of stuff specifically around virtualization, essentially making physical computers, physical servers into virtual computers and virtual servers, VMs, virtual machines. Now there's a whole bunch of applications that VMware make. And this video, we're gonna be talking about four. We're gonna give you a little bit of a comparison around each one, the benefits of each one, and why one would be better than the other. So the four we're gonna be talking about are VMware Fusion, VMware Workstation, VMware ESXi, and VMware vCenter. What is the difference between these four? You may be asking yourself that question, and we're gonna give you the answers today. Oh, and if you love VMware, and if you love technology, I release videos every single week on tech. So do click on that button, subscribe, you're probably watching this and you're not subscribed, so please do that. You won't miss out on anything that we are releasing. If you've watched any of my videos, you will know that I love VMware. I'm a big supporter of VMware for virtualization. I love running VMware locally, on-premise, but I also love running VMware on the cloud. One of my favorite cloud providers is a private hosting company called Liquid Web. You can actually run VMware directly on their cloud and it's absolutely brilliant. And because it is a private cloud, it's fully managed. So Liquid Web, they look after the workflows. They take care of everything else. So all the cloud infrastructure, all of the operating systems, the services, you just look after your VMs themselves. They're also VMware professional solution provider partners. And all of their cloud solutions are VMware cloud verified. They have a great support team. 24-7, 365 days a year. So easily reachable if you ever need any sort of help. So check out the description of this video to actually get a link so you can sign up to Liquid Web. So there's heaps of different options available, heaps of different plans. One of them will definitely be helpful to you. And thank you so much for Liquid Web for sponsoring this video. Now, before we even start defining the differences between each of these four, let's just give you a bit of an overview around virtualization in general. In the olden days, if you had to build a computer, if you had to build a server, if you ever worked in an enterprise, for example, you would have to go and physically have to buy the server or the computer. And for every single server or system that you had to build, you'd have to buy a physical computer for that. So if you wanted to build a mail server, you had to go and buy a big Dell server, for example, and stick it inside of a server room. You then had to go build a domain controller, you had to go and build that. That is still a reality and you still have to do that. You can now virtualize a lot of this stuff essentially having one physical computer, one physical server, and then you stick a whole bunch of virtual machines onto it. So rather than having one server, one physical server to do one thing, you can have one physical server running maybe five, maybe 10 virtual machines or virtual servers directly onto it. Absolutely brilliant because then these VMs, these virtual machines share the resources you can use some of the physical RAM, some of the physical CPU, the graphics, all of that on that physical computer, and you splice it and share it across all these virtual machines. So you can essentially have a lot more functions, a lot more servers, a lot more computers running on one physical device, one physical server. But that's a little bit of a nutshell around virtualization. Now let's define each of these four. Now ESXi is a hypervisor. And essentially what you're doing is you're getting yourself a physical computer, a physical server. You're removing whatever operating system is on there. Let's say it's running Windows. It was running a Windows computer. It was running Linux or something like that. And you install VMware's operating system. And this one is called ESXi. So ESXi is actually an operating system by VMware that then converts that server into a hypervisor. That's what the term hypervisor means. And then once it's deployed and you can start building virtual machines. You could go and build yourself a Windows Server or a Windows 10 computer directly onto that ESXi host. What about vCenter? vCenter essentially is one step up from that. vCenter manages all of your ESXi hosts. So let's say you have one ESXi host that you've just built. Great. Hey, hooray. You can go and build a whole bunch of VMs on there. You then build another ESXi host. You then go and build another ESXi host. You've now got three computers running with an ESXi operating system installed. So they are three ESXi hosts now. Maybe each of them have got five virtual machines running on each of them. So maybe you've got 15 computers, virtual computers running across these three ESXi hosts. And you can now manage all of these three together. What vCenter lets you do is it lets you put ESXi hosts with a bit more high availability within clusters so that they all know about each other. And then you can actually move VMs 
between ESXi hosts. Now there's a whole bunch of more cool stuff that vCenter can do, but it just simplifies the management of all of your ESXi hosts together in this vCenter environment. Then we move into something that's slightly different, being VMware Workstation, VMware Fusion. The main, main difference is that one of them runs on a Windows computer, the other one runs on a Mac computer. Now, if you remember ESXi, you remove the operating system from that computer, from that server, and you install VMware's operating system. So that computer now is a dedicated ESXi hypervisor, a dedicated ESXi host. VMware Workstation, you actually have your version of Windows. You may be running Windows 10 or Windows 11. So just download the software, you install it as an application, and now you can actually build VMs in VMware Workstation inside of your Windows computer. The difference here being is that Windows is the operating system and it's just running this software called Workstation inside of it. So it's not being dedicated like ESXi was. ESXi takes all of it, takes the entire hardware, while Workstation, well, Windows has the whole hardware and is allocating some of its resources to Workstation. So that is Workstation, that runs on Windows. VMware Fusion, pretty much the same thing, but on a Mac. You install it as an application on your Mac, you can then build all of your VMs. Main differences there between Workstation and Fusion is just the underlying operating system that it's sitting on. Why don't you let us know whether this makes a lot more sense to you down in the comments below. If it doesn't make sense, let us know down in the comments below. Subscribe, click on the button on the bell so you don't miss out on anything and stay tuned for the next video where we talk about all things tech. We'll see you next time.